The first conic section that we're going to talk about is the parabola. You've been working with parabolas for a while now, but what we haven't worked on is the specific features of a parabola, namely the focus and the directrix. These two items right here actually um, partly are what largely define what a parabola is. And I'll show you um, this, a, a different little video on that that is interactive to show you how those two are related and how it shapes a parabola. Uh, this will be just to show you how to find those two things. So if you have just a basic parabola that starts at the origin, that's the vertex is at the origin right there. So we know that the vertex is going to be zero, zero. Um, the next thing that you need to do, and you could plot some points, you could create a table of values um, so you actually could draw out the parabola, which is pretty easy when y is equal to x squared. I always say keep it, keep it easy on yourself. So negative two, negative one, zero, we already know that 0, 0 is the vertex. Well, negative 2 squared is positive 4. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. And then that shapes the basic parabola. Okay, so having done that, now you're going to learn how to find the focus. So on any parabola, there is this invisible... 4p that's attached to the y, or if it were facing this way, attached to the x. But for upward or downward facing, where y is to the first power, there's an invisible 4, 4p, y is equal to, c is just the coefficient, so in this case that invisible 1, that's the c value, uh, cx squared. Well, this is what you do. You take that 4p and set it equal to the reciprocal of c. So you take the 4p, that invisible 4p, set it equal to 1c, and when you get the p by itself, that will tell you how to find uh, the fo focus coordinate. So to get 4 is attached by multiplication, but because this is a fraction, you would just multiply both sides by 1 fourth, and that would give you p is equal and I'm going to put positive or negative, depending on which direction of the parabola, 1 over 4c. Okay, so let's take this example. Right here, that c value, that invisible run right there, is equal to 1. So I'm going to put 4p is equal to 1 over the c value, which is 1. So that makes it easy. I'm going to multiply by both sides by 1 fourth, p is equal to, in this case, positive 1 fourth. The reason I say positive, notice this focus is, a, since this is an upward facing parabola, the focus you go up, and up is in a positive direction. So when the vertex is at 0, 0, notice what you do to find the focus. When it's y is equal to x squared, the x value stays 0. And now all we're doing is, in this case, we're adding 1 over 4c to this. So we're going to go up 1 fourth. So that focus value right there is at the coordinate point is 0, 1 fourth. Well, the directrix is the exact same distance from the vertex, but in the opposite direction. And notice the directrix is a horizontal line. So y is equal to, y is equal to the opposite of 1 over 4c. So in this case, y is equal to the opposite. This case, the focus was uh, coordinate value is 1 fourth. So the equation of that line is y is equal to negative 1 fourth. And look at, look at to see that that's true. Here's um, negative 1 right here, here's negative 2. Well, right there would be negative 1 half, right here would be negative 1 fourth. All right, 
Then when we have a parabola, notice this essentially is still saying y is equal to x squared, but instead of starting at the origin, it's just been shifted. And remember, what's ever in the parentheses with the x, it will shift the parabola left or right. Whatever's in the parentheses with the y will shift the parabola up or down. So now let's first look at how it shifted from the origin to, to the left or right. Well, what's the opposite of negative 3? Positive 3. So from the origin, we just went over 2, 3. That's going to be the x value. And then whatever is the opposite of negative 2, that's how far we should go up or down. Well, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. And right there, that vertex right there, is the coordinates 3, 2. Notice, here is our c value right there. And we still have that invisible 4p. So now I'm going to put 4p is equal to 1 over the c value. And the c value this time is 2. Well, I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 fourth. And now I know that I have to add 1 eighth to this vertex point right here. So this is the vertex. And since it's opening upwards, the focus value will 3. Well, 2 plus 1 eighth. Well, 2 is the same thing as saying 16 over 8 plus 1 eighth. Well, that gives us 17 eighths. And that's the coordinate point for the focus. Now, to find the directrix, well, remember the directrix is just this horizontal line, so we know that it's going to be an equation. y is equal to a value. Well, notice it's the directrix is the same distance. It's 1 eighth in the negative direction, right? So if the vertex is at 16 eighths, we now subtract 1 eighth, and the equation of the directrix is y is equal to 15 eighths. All right, that's how you find the focus and the directrix of and the vertex of a parabola and how to show that on a graph.